Love so many people coming up with the theory that FP is Chick's father, like it's brand new information, as if phallus shippers haven't been saying it for months. I know, right? Like everybody knows that. Or do they? Mm. Hi, I'm Skeet Ulrich. I play FP Jones on Riverdale, and today I will be reading some of your fan theories. And we know you guys are crazy, so let's see what you came up with. Jesus! Oh, I know which one that came from. Wow, got it. FP is actually Billy from Scream. He didn't really die, but escaped, changed his name, and started a new life. It would explain Jughead's affinity for movies. That's my answer to that. Whoa! All right. She's trying to kill me. Am I the only one not buying into Veronica's super supportive and not at all bothered acceptance of the gags, Barchi kiss? Ah, uh, well, I'm not buying into it. I thought it was highly inappropriate and I was really upset for my boy. My boy should have punched him in the face. What was that? <laughs> so I was kind of wondering about Alice's serpent tattoo. Me too. Like, did she have it removed or does she simply hide it? Well, she has one and we haven't seen it, so she's hiding it, but I'm not gonna tell you where it is. And it's something only FP or Hal would know. Ah! You're definitely fired now. I'd like to see the dads of Riverdale get their own episode. If they played poker, Hal would lose immediately. Fred would stare disapprovingly at everyone. Even though he'd win, the night would end with F.P. Jones punching Hiram in the face. Wow. I don't know that I would actually punch Hiram in the face so much as I would shoot him in the head. So that's how that would go. <laughs> yeah, just so measured. Am I the only one who has secretly been shipping Jughead and Veronica since season one? I don't know. I just think they'll be a hot power couple. I think F there's no way in hell FP would ever support that, considering that Veronica is Hiram's daughter, obviously. And um, I don't think she'd really like Jughead if I killed her father. Well, maybe she would, actually. Done. I have a working theory that Riverdale is where you go when you become a vampire because it's always so damn dark. I agree, um, but I'm not a vampire, so I have a little bit of disagreement with that. It's dark because it's a dark show. It, the show wouldn't work in the light. So no, we're not vampires. And I'm not gonna suck your blood or anything else. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, nice, look how long this one. OMG, what if the only way to get Alice out of the serpents was for FP to make a deal with Penny? And then, 20 some years later, he watches his son bring home the Cooper girl. And then, he watches his dumbass son make the same damn mistakes that he did. Is that not happening already? Yeah, I think you're right on with what we're up to. Don't tell anyone. This is gonna go bad for me. <laughs> Jesus, I got none of them. Am I the only one who noticed that when Betty was going through Shady Guy's phone, his most recent message was to a guy named Jason? And Shady Guy was a drug dealer, and Jason was in with drugs. Coincidence. Hmm. I didn't notice that, but I think that's pretty clever, and there may be a correlation. That I do know. Oh, nice. This one doesn't say anything. All right, when Cheryl mentioned at the hospital that she will not tell what happened to her dad in the barn, I instantly thought that Penelope killed Clifford and they covered it up. That would be a very good story arc. You're right, and maybe you're still right, but it'd be wrong for me to tell you. So for now, you're right, until you're wrong. Right on the lens. Ah, dang it. 